to stay where they made. But when Jesus died, he did something for all of us. Amen. Amen. He wanted to bring man back together to God. He made a commitment that only a statement of commitment. He told his father, prepare me a body. And I'll go back down and I'll redeem the people back into the fold. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. And I'm glad that he did that. Amen. What about you? Amen. And I want to show him every day that I appreciate what he has done. By the way, I live, conduct myself in this world, the way I depend totally upon him. For as I said before, it's in him that we live, move, and have our being. Amen. We can't function, we can't make it without him. He's our all in all. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, my Father. I want to talk just a few minutes on the thought that we talked on years ago. I was looking and I read about it in the Old Testament in, 18, in the 1800s. A guy talked on the same thing. Amen. So that lets me know there's nothing new under the sun. Amen. Amen. The dawn of a new day. Thank you, my friend. The dawn of a new day. Praise the Lord. Go with me to Mark, the 16th chapter. Praise the Lord. We do, we do not worship Easter. Amen. But we, we, we worship or uh, give recognition to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You know the history behind Easter. But I want to talk about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Now, Easter did not resurrect me, but Jesus did. Amen. And, you know, every year we talk about this, how it's a time when I was growing up like my grandkids. And my mother would buy us new shirts and pants and a new outfit, and we just couldn't wait to go to church to show it off. Amen. We thought we were somebody special. And I guess we were. Praise the Lord. And uh, everybody was showing their little new dudes and the clothes off. And, and listen to the Sunday school teacher talk about Jesus, what he had done for us, and how that because we live. He lives, we live, he lives. We can't face tomorrow. Amen. Amen. He made it possible for us to live, to talk about his goodness and his mercy. I'm going to try to do the technology today. I don't know how far it's going to go, but we'll see. Praise the Lord. Amen. I normally don't do this, I go another way, but I thought about doing it this way and see. How it goes. You'll never know when I cut off of it and go to my own self because I can go either way. I want to stay on track. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to talk about God's goodness and I want God to be pleasing with everything we do and say. Amen. 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 And as long as we stay committed to Him and do what's right, He'll get praise and glory. For all praise and glory belongs to Amen. Him. Amen. Praise the Lord. In Mark, the 16th chapter, my Bible talks about the resurrected Christ. Praise the Lord. Y'all have that? Amen. Amen. Can someone read it loud or I can read myself to the seventh verse? <coughs> Somebody give her a mic so they can hear it on TV, on the electric. Uh, praise the Lord. We thank God for uh, uh, you that are here and we thank God for those that are watching us on morning. To teach and preach about the goodness and the mercy of God. You know, uh, sometimes I forget we own line, but uh, but I gotta be myself. It's like you gotta be yourself. Is that Sam and Day Jr. say I gotta be me? Amen. Amen. 
you got to be you. Don't try to be like nobody else. Just be yourself. And God will take care of you when you're in your own person. Amen. Don't try to mark nobody and mark nobody because that's phony and baloney. We hear a lot of stuff about fakeness. That's fake. <laughs> you may admire them, but get your own platform. Get your own path that you want to go into. And be like my grandfather says, do your own thing. Amen. Mind your own business. <laughs> and serve your own God. <laughs> Don't let nobody out shine you. Just shine where you're at. Amen. He sees you. Is that right? Amen. Amen. And God knows your heart. Praise the Lord. Well, go to Mark the uh, 11th chapter, the first, uh, uh, 16th chapter, this first to the 7th verse. Now when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen, and they said among themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell the disciples in Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The resurrection of Christ and as we look in this uh, particular book of the gospel, now we have accounts about his resurrection in all four gospels. But I chose to go this way. Praise the Lord. And I may talk on the other areas also. But, but the main thing is in this particular uh, 16th chapter, the first verse, the Sabbath was passed about 6 p.m. on Saturday. This allowed the women, women to buy more spices that even all three women had witnessed the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And two of them had witnessed his burial. Uh, praise the Lord. The Jews anointed the bodies to cover the stench of decay. And you know, they didn't do too much like what we do now. They we embalm them, what have you. Amen. And praise the Lord, but they didn't do that this wrong. They took his body off the cross, and, and he he was buried in a bore tomb. You remember the story? Amen. Amen. And uh, these ladies, this is amazing how the ladies, uh, the women, uh, went to check him out more than the men. Amen. They went to back to weep. And the wrong with weeping. Amen. But they wanted to take do some more besides weeping. And the Bible says that we got, got some spices. And they wanted to put it on his body. Praise the Lord. Two of them. And that's found in uh, John, uh, Matt, Mark the 15, chapter 47 verse. And talk about the crucifixion, 15, chapter 40 verse. But the first day of the week was Sunday. And that's what we worship guys on Sunday. We know why some people worship on Saturday. That was the Sabbath, and on Sunday was the first day of the week. It's not Monday, <laughs> as we normally do. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. You know, a lot of people get caught up on whether it works on the Sabbath or on the first day of the week. Worship God every day, and you got everything carried. Amen. Covered. Is that right? Amen. I mean, don't get set up on one day. That's right. You, you get, get kind of messed up when you just, I'm going to do this this day. I'm going to honor God this day. I'm going to really get serious about serving God on this day. I told you a story about years ago, a lady, and I'll get back on track in a minute, but this lady, every time Christmas, uh, uh, Easter would come, uh, Resurrection Sunday would come, she gets so sentimental. And she started crying, why did he have to die? And I think you were singing that song today. 
about the purpose of him dying. He said, don't cry for me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I died for a reason to get you back together with God. Amen. People forget about why he did what he did. Amen. 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 It was a purpose in doing that. Man, it got so far apart from God. And, uh, and God seen how things were messed up. He made man. And created him out of his own image. Amen. Gave him the ability to name everything around. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's, that's unique, isn't it? Amen. Amen. Being able to name things. Amen. And then mess up and get out of God's will. By letting that old man devil destroy you. It's a, that's a dangerous thing, isn't it? Amen. Amen. To let some, you build yourself up so high and then someone has pulled the rug out on you. Because you let it happen. The devil can't do nothing without you. Amen. You got to give in to his will. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. So when you're trying to build something up in this life and God has blessed you to build, don't let nobody take the rug out underneath you. Be committed. Be strong and steadfast. Praise the Lord. Let's talk about it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. It says on the first day of the week, which was Sunday, very early in the morning probably indicates that when the women left for the tomb, whereas sunrise indicates they, when they arrived. That the women wondered uh, who would roll away the stone, revealed that they did not know that the stone was sealed or guarded. I mean, you know, women, in general, a woman can't roll away a stone. Now you got yeah. some women can do just as much as men can do. I see them wrestling quite a bit. I wouldn't want to wrestle with them. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. I mean, it's right with me. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hey, they don't even thump my head. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. But these three women, they want to know about this stone that was put up against that. When they went down, they seen that stone. They said, how in the world are we going to get that stone away? But they noticed that when they got down there, it was already rolled away. Praise the Lord. God always makes an opportunity always. and put an opportunity in your way to, for you to do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 you thinking about this, you thinking about that, but God always, always. opens up a door. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They was worrying about what they were going to do because they had all the spices and everything together to go in and anoint his body. That's caring there. Praise the Lord. They cared about that man. Amen. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So when the women wondered who was going to roll away the stone and reveal that they did not know that the stone was sealed or guarded. The stone was not moved to let Jesus out, but to let witnesses in. The women entered the tomb and confirmed it was a large family tomb. Praise the Lord. The young man in white garment in Matthew's 28th chapter, the third verse, as well as Acts 1 and 10, and the angels, uh, it talks about who's seen this happen. Amen. The word was assured that as a standard feature, the angelic manifestation, they all did something purposely to let us know that somebody was in there, but he's not there no more. Amen. Jesus didn't need the stone roll away to get out of it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Amen. He opened. He had opened up so that people can get in there and see what's going on. Praise the Lord. This God that we serve, Amen. He died for us all. That person I told you in the beginning, he was burning himself up for a reason, but Jesus did it for humanity. Amen. Amen. I remember back in the seventies. I'm pretty sure it was the seventies, somewhere in that area. They burned stuff up. I mean. I mean, lit herself on fire. That's got to be a crucial, I mean, a, 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 a death that's very hard and painful. Burning yourself up alive and just, you know, I was used to be a fireman years ago. And I used to fight fires and one of the first, one of the major fires we, I had to go to was with this one place. It was like a massage parlor. You know anything about that. It was on the outskirts of town. And they was jumping from the building on fire. Praise the Lord. It was a, a play with power. You know, back, you know, 
the mafia, whatever, they if they don't want you around, they will kill you. Amen. By any means possible. And they use muscle. And this person was coming through her dead, jumped out of that, that building. I think it was two or three stories, jumped into her dead. And then we had to pull them away and to secure ground. And that stink, that smell was crucial. If you ever smelled human smell, you don't want to smell it no more. Anybody been around nursing home probably smelled something like that before. It's devastating. And I was just a new farmer, uh, about 22 years old. Just very, wasn't quite wet behind the ears good. Amen, praise the Lord. But we had a guard at that place. And I had just bought me a new car and, and I had a little aroma in there. It smelled good. And every time I smelled it, I smelled that human scent. It just played with your mind. Amen. It's a terrible smell. And I think about that when I think about these people who gave their lives, burned themselves up for a cause. Amen. I don't know what kind of cause it was, but it wasn't worth being burned up. Amen. Amen. You can have a cause and still not take your life. Amen. Amen. But Jesus had to take his life. But he did it willingly. But he didn't only die, but he rose again, according to the word today. Praise Amen. the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Listen up to this says here. As she read today, praise the Lord. The very early in the morning was the first day of the week, and they came to the sepulchre at the rising of the sun, and they said among themselves, Who will roll away the stone in from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked and they saw the stone was rolled away, it was very great and entered to the sepulchre, and they saw the young man sitting on the side, right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were afraid. And he said to them, Be not afraid. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold, the place where they laid him, they showed him everything. Go your way, and tell his disciples, Peter, that he goeth before you in Galilee. There you shall see him as they said he would. Everything Jesus said, he talked about. He told everybody what's going to happen, his disciples, what's going to take place, but they just listen. You know, a lot of people listen to what you say, but they're still not listening. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I mean, you could tell them a whole lot of stuff. But they, you can tell your kids a whole lot of stuff, but they're not really listening. Sometimes they don't listen to you off the scene. Then you remember what they said. Is that right? Amen. I know that's true. I can just recall the day when I was fixing a little dinner up there. I can remember what my mother said a lot of things. And, and uh, I didn't pay it too much attention. But as they leave this world, then you recall what they said. Amen. It has no lot of meaning then, but yes, they're sir. not here to reap the benefits of it. Praise the Lord. But still, they say a lot of things to us. And you say, oh, yeah, okay. But later on you'll see that what they said was it has a meaning to it. Praise yeah, the Lord. That's true. Amen. So it was with these disciples. They went back to the room and cried up and was crying and was doing this and doing that. And he, he knows he said, and tell Peter. Peter was the one that kind of messed up. Amen. Outspoken, but he still messed up. The man denied Jesus three times. He was outspoken. No, not me. I'm not going to leave you. No, not me. You know, a lot of people just like it in the church. Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to give up on God. As soon as the hard times come on the way, man, they're about the first ones out the door. Amen. Praise the Lord. When things get tough, mm -hmm. don't give up on God. Amen. This is the dawn of a new day. Well, let's talk about that word dawn. Dawn suggests the notion of illumination. Of hope beginning a new day this chance for happiness to improve yourselves amen Jesus came and died so we can have a new day praise the Lord uh, resurrect where we was at we was messed up we needed to change as the joker said change up it's time for us to change up our lives and some people teach this message no doubt at the first of the year and call it a new day. Amen. I got another word I teach during the first part, but this is what I want to talk about a new day. I might start doing this every year. Praise the Lord. I have many years shall be. Praise the Lord. A new day. 
Amen. It's a new day that we get rebirth. We can get rebirth and get on the right track with God. Amen. Because sometimes we go along and we first was saved, but somewhere down the road, someone was telling me one day that you don't just gradually drift away from God or, or leave God. It's a gradual process. Okay. You let one thing come in, and you let another thing come in. The next thing you know, you're so far apart from God, you don't know how it happened. But it was a, it was a gradual transformation. You forgot to do a little praying. Sometimes you was fasting through the years, and you start, well, I don't take all that much, so I'm not going to fast as much. Well, I used to pay tithe, but I'm not going to pay as much tithe as I used to. I used to go visit the sick for a little while, and, uh, and uh, I'm just not going to do all that because, you know, i got so much on my plate now. And, I mean, you know, you know how it goes. And every time you do all that, you're gradually leaving God. So Jesus had to come in to show us something. Show us how to be committed to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it's a day of, of awakening. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, a time of brightness and freshness. We need a fresh start. You know, I don't know too much about the computers. I know this one thing: when the computer makes up, you got to reboot it. <laughs> yeah. I got this old uh, a place. I got this uh, place I work at. They have a computer. Well, both places I work at computers now. Amen. A lot of people my age them kind of left. Now you got some people that are like you ladies back here, y'all still computer wizards, but me, I'm not there. I, I know enough to get me in and out. Praise the Lord, out of trouble. But anyway, uh, I was trying to talk out the other day, and uh, the thing was messing up on me. And start acting up crazy and start throwing up some kind of messages. You know, a lot of those computers talk, get a lot of messages trying to help you get out. Well, I try to do what they said, and. <laughs> I guess I did too many times. When they do too many times, when they, when they come and say, you don't do it too many times, time you shut down, and they'll shut you down. Amen. They'll shut down. You might have to walk That's away. Right. That's right. At this one place, a security place, I had to leave alone for about 45 minutes and more. I went to do some patrol and came back. I said, well, let me try it again. Lord, you're going to help me this time. You always have helped me out. And so I started again, get my little cheat sheet out. And... and and then all of a sudden they pop. I said, I'm going to find me something that's going to keep this thing locked in. So I found out that I played some music with this thing. The thing will stay continuously until I get off that shelf. <laughs> and that was it. That transaction. <laughs> Amen. But rebooting, 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 reboot. Is that what it says? Reboot, reboot, reboot. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Reboot. Amen. I had to reboot that thing. And sometimes we got to reboot ourselves. That's right. Amen. We live a long time. Sometimes people live a long time. They think they done arrived. You have never arrived with Amen. God. Amen. Because you got a devil out as a legalist. That's and he right. will take you to test on every opportunity right. he gets a chance to Amen. in your life. Amen. And you got to readjust and reboot and say, Lord, what's going on in my life? Amen. David talked about that, praise the Lord about creating a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me that will be acceptable in your sight. Sometimes we got to talk to God just like that. Create with me a clean heart. Whatever needs to be rebooted in my life, Lord, change it up. Amen. So I may have connection with you all the days of my life. Praise the Amen. Lord. Amen. This is the reason why Jesus came and died for us. Amen. He died for those who were saved. And this, this mess of people say once saved, always saved is a lie in the pits of hell. Amen. I know that's right. I ain't never seen nowhere once saved, always saved. That's right. There is a clause in 1 John Amen. about if you mess up and sin. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I ain't never seen nowhere. Have you seen it? Let me, let me read it. I'm not going to eat the Bible. Let me read it. I made a commitment. I said this to a guy one day about it. He's making a statement. I started working at the fire department years ago. And he told me that it's in the Bible that there should be no mixed marriages. Uh, you have messed up, you have mixed marriages. His father, his pastor, it was a sin to have a mixed marriage. I said, you tell me some word Bible, I'll eat that Bible. 
Bible. God never did come back to me. <laughs> I was going to eat the Bible that time. I knew I, had, I, didn't, I didn't have salt and pepper on that one. I knew for a fact that I didn't have to eat the Bible. You talk about that mess like that, that's a mess going somewhere to happen. Amen. People got to learn how to read. Amen. Amen. That's, right. that's what God, Jesus came to show us the right way. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. What happened at the dawn? So twilight is the name of given to the period between dawn and the sunrise, and between the sunset and the dark. When light is still visible, the sky blue, the sunlight uh, scrapping uh, uh, in the atmosphere. It can also be a separation of the atmosphere of the different things. You know, I, my son, my, you know, my middle son likes to talk about the atmosphere. He talks about all the different planets. He, one day he was coming home from work, he said, now, look at that one star there. That star will lead to this star, that star, what happens? Oh, I see. <laughs> he went on with that and talked about it. Man, he knows all about that stuff. He, he even set up on my computer where I could see the, uh, uh, the satellite. We got a satellite that goes out of the space uh, satellite. What do they call that thing? Spaceship satellite or something out there in orbit where some guys are out there living. Is that right? Space station. Space station. And I've seen that. I've seen it come around. Didn't see nobody, but I've seen the star, which was the spaceship. Praise the Lord. But it's good to know those things. Praise the Lord. But it's just like Jesus. He's like a spaceship sitting out there. I wouldn't like to use that analogy, but it's still true. He's there protecting, protecting you and I right now. Amen. Amen. He sees our good and our bad. He sees what's coming down the road. Praise and the Lord. he'll give you the inside of how to do this and how to do that. And help you reboot yourself so when the time of Christ comes, you're able to sustain it. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise the Lord. I know that's right. What happens at dawn? Amen. A dawn is talking about between the sunset and the darkness. Between light still visible and the sky blue. Sunlight scattering the atmosphere. Amen. It's a lot of things going on with that sun out there in the orbit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's good to know that we have a God such as we have today. A God that will take care of us. Amen. Amen. We have a new beginning. This thing does not end where we're at today. It's a new beginning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have a better opportunity today than I had yesterday. Amen. That God loves me. Amen. And all I got to do is reboot myself and, and not get complacent by what is. But what shall be. <coughs> Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Things are subject to change in your life as well as my life. People in rule right now may not be in rule tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why was the resurrection so important to David? Go to uh, Psalms, the 16th, uh, Psalms of the 8th through the uh, 11th verse. He said this, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad. My whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul in Shiloh or let your Holy One see corruption. He knew that about the resurrection. Amen. That God, and it's true about you and me today, that God says here, I have set the Lord always before me. you got to set the Lord before you. If you want God to work with you, you got to do something with him. Amen. I have set the Lord always before me because he is my right hand. He is at my right hand. He shall not be, I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my whole being rejoice. You know why? I'm secure because of him. Amen. Because what Christ did on the cross, I'm secure. Yes, it's the first day of the week. I can reboot myself, and I know that if I reboot myself right, God is going to take care of me. Amen. 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 For you will not abandon my soul into hell, or let the Holy One see corruption. i got that confidence knowing that God is going to take care of me. Amen. 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 Do you have that confidence? Amen. Amen. I've got that confidence, praise the Lord. 
Amen. Then it says over in Acts, the uh, second chapter, the 29th verse to the 31st. Brother, I may say to you with confidence about the Patrick David. That David had, that he had, he both died and was buried. He was, and his tomb is with us even to this day. Being therefore a prophet and not knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him <coughs> that he would set one of his descendants uh, on, the, on, on, on the, his throne. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have this confidence today knowing that this church will survive. Amen. And the word will go forth. Some already sin is going to take over as Praise we leave the, the scene. Praise the Lord. That's good news, isn't it right? Amen. Amen. Knowing that God's got people designed just for you to take care of you and help you out to do the cause. You remember the incident over in uh, go to Matthews, the 12th chapter, 40th verse. Amen. Praise the Lord. For just as Jonah was in the Britain, it was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. These are scriptures that let you know what happened, that Jesus was in the grave. Amen. But he did it for a reason. He sat down there. He must have preached down there. I don't know what all he did. I have I listened to a lot of stories talking about it. He went down there to do some things down there, some good work. He never did nothing by chance. Amen. Jonah had to get in the belly of the well so he could get himself together and get over to where he's supposed to minister the word at. It's sad to say, but sometimes God got to put us in the belly of something to get our attention. Amen. God put us in a situation. Is that right? Amen. 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 <clears throat> and we think it's the devil doing it, but it's not the devil, it's God, because God going to bring us out of it. Amen. Amen. The devil do it, you're going to stay in it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The Bible says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I couldn't even have life and have more abundantly. Amen. 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 Whatever God does in your life, especially if you say, God, every day say this to you, the Lord, I want you to direct my life. Amen. Uh, as I walk through the day. And sometimes the day looks like it's messed up, but God brings it out, all right? Amen. You know that? Amen. I've had situations not too long ago where things took place and God still brought me out. Praise Amen. The Lord. And you got opportunities to uh, go the other way. But I chose not to. Because in the end, I knew I was going to win if I do what's right. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Who witnessed the resurrection? Praise the Lord. Go to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, 3rd verse to the 8th verse. Praise the Lord. A lot of people don't believe that Jesus died for it. I don't care whether they do or not. It doesn't affect me at all. I'm going to believe what I want to believe. I choose to believe what's right. Amen. In my sight and in the Bible. Amen. You believe everything else. Why not believe this? For I delivered unto you the first as to the first appear, uh, uh, importance. 1 Corinthians 15, chapter 3rd, 8th verse. For I delivered unto you as the first Important what I also received that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures that he was buried he was raised on the third day according with the scriptures and the appearance was praise the Lord we found out that Jesus did die and he keeps talking about that why let you know that it was not just something done in the corner amen Amen. He died so that we may know the truth that he is real. Amen. 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 And he died so that we may have a purpose. And that the purpose was that you may know that you have a God that loves you. Amen. Amen. A God that's concerned about you. A God that will secure you and keep you together. Amen. Have you ever noticed that in life when you're doing things and things like it's out of whack and you start trusting God and talking to God about the situation and how things begin to change up. Amen. Amen. I've experienced that, praise. Think of it's real bad in life. But if you stay consistent with God, He said, I'm faithful. I'm just. I have the love. I have the joy, the peace, the long suffering, the gentleness, the kindness to take you over the top of any situation in life. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. 
we got to know that we got a God that really loves us. And the Bible says in Revelation, the first chapter, 17 to 18 verse, praise the Lord. I'll let y'all get that before I talk about it. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in that particular chapter and 17 verses, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not, for I am the first and the last, the living one. I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore. I have the keys to death and Hades or hell. Praise the Lord. I like that. When I saw him, I fell at his feet. As though dead. He laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not, for I am the first and the last. You know, sometimes you think that all hope is gone. And you can't make it no further. Praise the Lord. You can use this scripture saying, When I saw him, I fell down on my feet. And then he laid his hand on me saying, Fear not, for I am the first and last, the living one. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. I've got the keys to death and hell. I'm going to protect you. Think about that. A God that loves you so much that will never leave you alone, never leave you comfortless, a God that protects you from thick and thin. God won't run out on you. Amen. <laughs> when things get tough, a lot of people run out on you, but God doesn't. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's there all the time. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Matthew's talked about him. Mark talked about him. Luke talked about him. John talked about him. And Paul talked about the resurrection. Amen. They all had that count that God will protect you. We can say the same thing today if we trust in God, that God will protect us. God will. Yes, he is ro He rose from the dead. This is the dawn of a new day. Amen. A day of illumination. A day to, of hope. A new beginning. A chance for happiness. You may Sometimes you in life you may not have been happy all your life. Maybe you've been around people like that, never been happy all your life. But this is the day you get happy. Praise the Lord. If you learn about Jesus Christ and know who he is and what he really obtained for us. Amen. He took death from the devil. He said, no, they're not going to die. They're going to live. Praise the Lord. Amen. To talk about my goodness. And when I go through this crisis, it's not over yet. This chapter is not over yet. Amen. I'm still writing my book. You're still writing your book in your life. Amen, praise the Lord. I don't care how long it's been said, what have you, but it's still time where you can write your own chapter. Amen. I don't know how long I've got. I've talked about a hundred years, but I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm writing my chapter. Praise what the Lord. about you? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. There's a song, uh, man, he sang a song. I write the song that makes the world go round. That was James Cleveland, wasn't it? Amen. Amen. Write your own song. And then sing it. <laughs> sing it in Key of K. Around your own house. Talk about the goodness and the mercy of God. Amen. Show God you love Him. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Praise Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's risen. Praise the Lord. He's risen. I do recognize that He has. And that He is. Are you a doubter today, like Thomas was? I don't believe until I can feel him in my hand, feel him in my hands in his side. Jesus said this to old doubting Thomas. We got people doubting today. Thomas, you believe because you see. But blessed are those who have not seen him, but still believe. Amen. It's by belief. We serve God because of what we believe. Amen. When he laid hands on, when people come to get their healings, and they touched his body. One woman touched his body, said, I felt virtue going out. 
Praise the Lord. And he asked the disciples, who touched me? Praise the Lord. I like that incident. And the disciples said, you know, and the said, Master, you flung around all these people. You say, who touched you? We don't know who it was. He said, I know. Somebody touched me. Their faith. Thank you, Jesus. Your faith can touch God. You know that? Amen. Don't let nobody distract you. Your faith will touch God. The best thing, the worst thing to do to lose sight with God is weary. Somebody said, weary is like fuel to fear. You aid fear when you weary. I want to aid God with love and faith. Amen. So we can be strong. Did you get anything out of this today? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Father, I thank you for this today. I thank you for these who are here. I pray that something was said to encourage us about this resurrection day. That this is the dawn of a new day. A day to get a new start. Let you know that we love you and we're going to serve you all the days of our life. And however long it takes us to reboot ourselves, we want to get it on right. So that when we close our eyes, we'll see you as you really are. But you are a God that is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The God that loves us. The God that cares for us. My Father, I pray today for these in our hearing. I pray that something was said to encourage us. In the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that if someone that doesn't know you are backslidden with you, It'll be a day to start all over again. And say, Lord, Lord, I need you. I need you. I need your help. I, need your help. I tried to do my thing. I tried to do my thing. It didn't work. It didn't work. Take me in your home. Take me in your arms. And love me. Love me. And forgive me. Forgive me. All my transgressions. All my transgressions. I'll serve you. I'll serve you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Accept it right now.